Hello! Welcome to my full guide on how to separate art for live 2D models and the logic behind it. I am May and I have been doing model art and rigging for almost a year now. Today I'll be showing you how I separate my models and what I learned so far and some insightful info for artists who have no experience with live 2D. Every model is unique and depending on the animations or the rigger, it might need some more detailed or different separation on some parts. However, I will explain the general rules and what to keep in mind as an artist when organizing the layers and doing art so that you can apply those tips in any kind of model. Some important things to keep in mind, uh, most parts will need to be separated in left and right. It's better to overdo the separation rather than not doing it at all if you are uncertain, since later on riggers could simply merge the layers. I'm just giving this tip because I know sometimes the model that people commission gets rigged after many many months so there is no communication between the artist and the rigger. Naming your layers is always helpful for the riggers since models usually have a hundred plus layers. It's hell so it will help them a lot. Lastly but not least, layer filters do not work in live 2D. That means layers that have the filter of overlay or shade will not work at all. Only the multiply and additive works in live 2D. There is no problem with opacity and no problem with clipping either. And now moving to the main part of the guide, I'll be showcasing how I separated each part of this model and explaining why. Firstly, we have the face separation, the head specifically. I have the head basic color, basic plus and extra plus, which is optional. Left and right shadow. Headliner and circle for the fade line when rigging. So the reason why I separated like this and not all those extra layers is because of the X angle which is left and right, and the Y angle, which are up and down. It's important to remember the model will be moving around, and details like this help a lot with the depth. It gives the model a 3D feeling and dimension. Moving onwards to the nose, mouth, eyes, and eyebrows separation. Starting with the nose, we have the shadow, highlight, and nose liner. Afterwards, we have the mouth separation, top lip liner, top lip color, and just a note on this one, you want to add an extended amount of basic skin color so the inside of the mouth will be covered. but not too much and as well on that layer i add the lip color too bottom lip liner bottom lip color top teeth which they're all white in this model and i had no liner on it that's why i am making it more visible with this black outline then fangs i have them both separated into left and right which is optional Bottom teeth, back teeth, which are not necessary, but they do give the model a better feeling of depth. Basic color of the back mouth, tongue, and axle tongue for tracking, which is not included in this model. Now, the reason why I do this specific separation on the tongue and the basic back mouth color and the teeth are again because of the XY ankle. Again, <laughs> you want the model to feel dimensional when moving left and right, as if it has depth. You can see there is a huge difference between the left and the right model when proper separation is done and of course proper rigging, the results are obvious. Now the eye separation is a little bit diverse. 
especially on the eyeballs because each artist has a different art style and it heavily depends on the rigger as well whether they are willing to animate the eyes and not physics but I'll give a general guide over how to do them first of all we have the highlights I separate each one of them the bottom last line the eyeliner the lashes which you can separate each of them individually but that's optional the liner corner i'm not really sure what to call most of these parts but you can see on your screen as well it makes it easier uh, the bottom and the top eyelid makeup and last the white base of the of the eye so as for the eyeball i have separated it into five parts firstly the eyeball secondly i have the top part which is a reflect light kind of then i have the pupil the butterfly which is just a detail i add in the eyes and then the dots the particles inside the eye i'm not really sure how to call them sorry <laughs> the reason why i have separated all those small parts which are optional but very nice to do so as you can see the rigger later on will be able to animate the eye and add physics and make everything pretty and cute <laughs> neck and accessories i separate the neck into two parts the basic neck and the top shadow of the neck which is a multiply layer clipped to the neck you need to draw even the hidden parts of the neck and that's a general rule in life 2d always draw parts that you may not see in the flat front view of the model but when the rigger will animate it and the model will move left and right up and down most of those parts will be revealed so be careful with that always draw all the parts fully okay all good so this is one of the hard parts <laughs> When doing art for models, especially if it's long hair, you want to separate everything. Uh, I'll start with the simple stuff. The hair separation, I separate it into the front part, usually the bangs. The side hair, left and right, which are very useful when the model moves left or right. Those will be revealed a lot more and it will not be just a blank back hair layer that will look awkward. The side back hair, left and right again for the same reason. The back hair and the ponytail. This is very specific to this model at least. So I like to separate its hair stand and the back hair into three parts, left, right and middle. If you make all the hair layers into just one layer, it's, it will look very weird. That's why I just like to separate its hair stand and its hair piece because when animated, you can really see the difference of detail that the rigger can make. Because it might be hard to understand when just explaining it, I recorded uh, its separation of the hair I did on the front and the side part, so you can see how it is, how I do it. I have sped up this part a little bit because it's just a showcase. I hope you find it useful. And something I forgot to mention before, I also separate its shadow for the hair because I want them to move along with the hair, otherwise it feels a bit stiff and flat. So the ears, I just separate them into three parts, it's not hard. And again, you will see I do that because of the left and right ankle when the model moves. It's again a reoccurring thing that you have to keep in mind when doing the art for the for a model. So now I have included this part as a mini as a mini section, I guess, uh, because it's a thing that is very useful. And if you learn how to do properly the art for it, it will make the model a lot prettier, especially when it's animated. As you can see, I have separated the earring part into a top glow that will just fade when it moves around the liner, the reflection which will be clipped to the base coloring of the accessory.
So now the general advice that you should remember from this video are that you should always separate the layers when needed to left and right. As you can see here, I left the upper parts of the cloth uh, into the same layer while I should have separated them into left and right and that's bad. And another mistake that is common and you should remember to avoid it are the gaps. You should always draw everything and fill any gaps even if something is hidden normally in a flat front view it will appear when it's animated. And lastly about clothes because I didn't go into detail about them into this video. They heavily depend on the design. I will show you a quick run on some parts that I separated on this model but if you follow the advices that I gave in this video which were more for general model separation you will be fine separating any design. Thank you very much if you're still watching this video until the end. I appreciate it a lot and I'm sorry, I'm really bad at doing voiceovers, I was very nervous at recording this. I did so many takes on each part, but I hope in the end I could make it to a useful video that anyone can understand. Thank you very much for watching, if you like the video please subscribe <laughs> and comment below what other parts you want me to cover in the future. Bye bye!